Hi, hello. It is very late at night, and I am making this video because I forgot to include this part in my demonstration video. I was recording all that on a pretty busy day, and it just kind of slipped my mind until it came to my attention that I didn't play uh, Ghost 8s with what I notated as. Let me see. Uh, I said first rep is written, second rep with 16 note twos. I just forgot to do the second rep for each tempo uh, completely, so um, my bad. Uh, hopefully this video gets out to everyone auditioning and, and playing their videos. Um, essentially the idea the idea of Ghost Eights, the importance is that we are able to play on every single isolated partial of eighth notes. So I turn on a metronome, you know, it's chill on there, and you know, eighth notes sound like one and two and three and four and one. And my goal is that I should be able to play any one of those because for all of percussion, like, we need to come in on these isolated notes. One and, three and, you know, those types of random things. Um, but what is also applicable is being able to just do like certain 16th note partials. Um, and these ones are just based around uh, the eighth note. So either one E, like one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E, like that, those partials, um, or the and a. 1e and a 2e and a 3e and a 4e and a 1e and a something like that. Um, and so this is basically practicing like the same sticking that you've had off the right and the left. It's just we're playing now with um, with two notes, you know, one 16th note after the note that you've been playing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the first couple measures, like the first four measures, with just the eighth notes, and then I'm going to demonstrate it with the 16th notes, and then I'll talk about the transition. Five, six, seven, eight, one and two and three. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four and etc. Right? So the sixteenth notes are just going instead of one, we're doing one E, that type of thing. Uh, I'll show you because it does the one E and then for the off beats it'll be and uh because it starts on the same attack. Five, six, seven, eight. Like that. I almost forgot what count to play on there. Um, and that's kind of what we're doing, and we're doing that all the way up to tempo. The transition, um, instead of having to do like, you know, right, right, and then go straight to the left, left, right, you know, like something dumb like one, two, three, four, and one, e, you know. And one E, that's lame. So we're just gonna do and one E. So going through uh, both reps will look like this, real quick. One, two, ready, go. like that. Hope that helps. Uh, email me or anyone else if you have any questions. Uh, hope you have a great night, guys, and have a fun day of recording tomorrow if you haven't already. Um, if you've already done this one, um, I'm really only looking for this skill set. It's important in all percussion areas, but if you've already recorded and you're super stressed out about getting some of your other recordings done and you're not trying out for bass drum um, or the battery, uh, as a matter of fact, um, and just like the front ensemble, uh, 
well, I guess this is the battery audition. So, um, <laughs> this is this is very important, I guess. Um, I don't know why I was trying to split it up there. Um, but don't stress out too much about getting the second rep. Um, but if you have the extra time, please learn it, please play it. Um, if it's in a separate recording, I guess, from your original uh, reps, that's fine. You can just do all the 16th notes, but um, this is how I, I would like it to be done. And this is the thing that will like super, super duper help us in the future. So that way we can just take all these eighth note partials, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and, and go one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. You know, and throw a bunch of notes, three, four type of thing in those eighth note spaces so that we can just go down the line and um, play really fast notes um, while we're only thinking about eighth note patterns. But then our hands are just going. So then we go. It'll be great. I love drum speak. Have a great night, guys.